Hi guys, welcome to another video. You join me today uh, with Josh Palin again, and today we're on the Mornside Lake at Sherwood Forest Fishery. It's the Sunday Open match. And what peg you drawn, Josh? I'm on 12. Peg 12. And the weather forecast for today is 28 degrees, which is very hot. And this has had an effect on people turning up to open match. There's not many here. Do you fancy peg 12, Josh? Um, it can be a good peg, but I'd prefer to be on an end. What's your tactics for today then? Well, I was hoping to catch a few on pellets across um, at the start and then paste out middle. But I'm getting a lot of problems with small fish today. What makes you want to fish the pace today, Josh? Just try and get away from them small fish, really. What, using a big bait, really, yeah, to. That's it. Try and catch them on proper carp. I know it's stuffed with fish. I've noticed that the foul up ones come off within the first three or four seconds. That's a proper effort. thinking Josh? Well, I've had a couple of fish up method. Um, still getting pestered. But they're starting to swirl and stuff on the far bank now. Just gonna try and catch a few. And a little shallow rig. Oh, just pulled like that and snagged me. fish on there and all, isn't it? Yeah. You ought to be 
be a surge in Jeff. Can't teach that, mate, can you? <laughs> Josh has told me there's a rule in here at Sherwood Forest Fishery. Just tell me again what it is, Josh. You can fish floating baits, but you can't feed them. Right. So you can put a disc of bread on the hook, but you can't feed anything. That's right. Well, you can't feed any bread anyway. Right. So we've just tried one off camera. And he's had one, so uh, this how we're going to give it a go. How would you describe the conditions, Josh? Not what you want at all. About as far from perfect as you can get. Definitely too bright and sunny today. No breeze. Not a single bit of ripple anyway.
They call up bank for him, don't they? Say again. They just call up bank for him. Yeah. And then one turns round, has bread, and that's it. Solid down off the side as well. Got it? Solid down here as well. Yeah. But tighter in, you can't see them down here. Anyway. No. 64. 10. Uh, <laughs> 64. 10. That's a foot long look start when I'm mugging mm. them, but they just went. Yeah, they like a lolly. They dried up for everybody, though, didn't they? Yeah. Very hard mouth as well. You can't. You get them. It comes out. Yeah. Right then, guys. The match is finished, and Josh has weighed in at seventy-three pounds. That's it. And a few ounces. A few ounces. Um, it's been over thirty degrees today. As you can see by Josh, yeah, bit looks burnt, a bit, bit burnt. Red. I've been under a brolly all day, so I've been, uh, I've been a lot cooler. So you just cool anyway. Well, it has been said. <laughs> so you started off with your paste line. Bit of a nightmare, really. Yeah. I think the the small fish bit of the yard in the other paste. Yeah. Fizzing up with like a jacuzzi. Five uh, missed bites. Waste of time, really. So you bin that off. Binned it off, completely gone. Um, had a few on the little feeder across, a couple of shallow, but it's small fish everywhere, really. It's been a bit of a nightmare. So we had to get a bit out of the box, really, didn't we? So the best line has been the bread. Definitely, yeah. Now, the rule in here is you can fish a floating bait, yep. but you cannot feed a floating no, bait. No, that's right. So basically, you fished some... Just a piece of bread on the hook. How, how, what size hook? Just size 14, excess space. And how much line from pole tip to hook? Literally just 8 inch. And bagged up? For an hour and a half, yeah. It's, it saved your match, hasn't it? It oh, saved definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, if you come again, or when you do come again, will you use that in your armoury? It'll definitely be one to bring, yeah. And anything you do different? Fish it earlier. 
find the shallowest bit of water in peg, feed some bait and fish it over that. Did you have to feed anything? You were chucking sixes and micros in, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, just to get him up into that shallow water and then every now and again one would pop up, have the bread. Game That's over. That. Pace line, would you bin it off next time? I think so, yeah. Or maybe leave it for the last hour. I think there's too many small fishing yeah. to, to make a difference on that. Yeah. I noticed you did have a few bread tight over, but you started getting bitted out again after that, didn't you? Yeah, if it's just... After they've grown on a bit, probably be a different story. So this time next year you're probably yeah. looking all right. That's if Paul doesn't take them out and fill it with some more. <laughs> yeah. You know his lie. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, when you feed some bait, you get a few carp in your peg and then all them small fish follow. And it's just bread work best way to get round that today. If you'd have gone on the bread earlier, yeah. could you have caught a ton? I'd have thought so, yeah. It's it's been... possible, didn't it? Well, there's been a few fish cruising today and you could have probably nicked odd one of them. Um, and, I mean, there's still fish down there now. Yeah. So they're not, they're not think... feeding it makes it a bit difficult. Yeah, if you could feed it, I think you'd have ten times more, to be honest. But that's the rules, Josh. Yeah, got to stick by them. Definitely. Right then, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, Josh. Cheers, Greg. Thank you very Thank much. You. Right then, Josh. I've seen a few... Um, YouTube videos where they've been uh, looking at the, the new Guru Aventus poles. Now I know there's two in the range, there's the 0700 and the 0900 but the 0900, the one that you've got here today, is the top of the range is that correct? That's right, yeah, right, yeah. Have you got, which package have you got? I've got the more power suits, so, suits my style of fishing more. So what do you get in the in the power compared to the match sort of thing? You get more of the bigger top kits, basically, um, instead of the smaller match kits. So what size are the match kits uh, in, the, in the pole? You've got your three and a half, which is these ones. Are ones. all the sections the same length, all the top kits the same length? Yeah, unless you have the short kits, obviously. Yeah. Um, 3.5 for your light winter work. You've got a 4.7, which I use for my sort of F1 fishing, big eyed fishing. And then for my carp, down edge, open water, 5.8. Across the board for all your carp fishing? Normally I use 5.8. 5 right, 8. brilliant. It comes with a cupping kit. Yep. And the pole cups oh, and everything are in, in thing. Do you have to glue the end on yourself? Yes. Right, okay. And then in the pole itself you get... Uh, well, you've got your 16 metres. Um, you get two spare number threes, which come as top three match kits yeah and you get obviously two dolly butts so what are the dolly butts for what's the longer one for that's to go in the end of the 13 meter section um just when you're fishing long especially when you're slapping you shove it in and you don't squash it into your 13 meter section but it's also good for fishing just past your bait as well yeah and the shorter one is the just the same for the 14 and the 16 section brilliant okay and your opinion of it good bit of kit oh, it's unbelievable yeah Best pole I've ever used. Fantastic. So uh, that's the review, a bit of a review on the Aventus 0900. Thank you very much, Josh. Thank you. Cheers.